Hey everyone, this is Tim. I hope you're doing well. I am still in Vietnam and this is Ha Long Bay. Beautiful area here. And at night, it comes alive. Lots of street food, many things to try. That right there, I don't know what it is, but it was tasty. And having something deep fried on the middle of the street is absolutely phenomenal. And a little while ago, I got a chance to explore Ha Long Bay by a cruise and uh, getting to experience the majesty of the mountains right on the ocean and a lot of good food as well and also good friends and today I got to explore Ha Long Bay City on foot and from above the sun is set and I think it's time for dinner and I heard there was an amazing seafood buffet right on the beach I can't wait to take you there and I'm just approaching it right now ah the bright light of seafood come on let's go in oh my goodness and this looks pretty impressive on top we are crossing the river well, Hi Hung, how are you? I'm fine, you? Oh, I'm a little bit hungry. Uh, can I, this looks amazing. And this one has lobster. Yes. Lot of uh, uh, abalone. Ah, okay. Yeah. Can I go with this one? Oh, anywhere. This one here. So nice to be out of that hot, humid day and to be in here. A uh, nice table and let me show you the buffet. It looks pretty impressive and I can see already a grill station there and over there I can see a fish tank with lots of fresh seafood which is important because uh, a while back I was at uh, Maison Seine having the mantis shrimp and thanks to the viewers who commented they mentioned that with mantis shrimp even if they have been out for a little while they go mealy really quickly so having it fresh would be superb and I can't wait to give this a try. And as I was coming in, Chef Hung was kind enough to explain everything to me, the different levels of the buffet. So there's a standard buffet that gives you everything there. And then there's level two and level three. And I think that gives you abalone and lobster and all that good stuff. So I can't wait to find out. And uh, they were kind enough to suggest a local beer to start off with the buffet. But I don't think I can wait. Uh, come on, let's check out the buffet. It's so hard to decide what to get, but I think we'll go start with the appetizer seafood station. Grab a plate. All right, so let's see what we have on oh, starting off. We have some perilla leaves, but next to it, we have some oysters. And I'm so glad to see it nice and cold on a bed of ice. I'm just going to grab an oyster. And we'll make it a pear. And moving on. Oh my goodness. This is the sashimi. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so this is, uh, we have the shrimp, uh, this is sea bass and some salmon. So maybe a little bit of shrimp. Some sea bass sashimi on the perilla leaf and the gachik, which is, I found out from David Sriracha, Japanese hearing. Oh, and moving on, we have chef expertly preparing the sushi and I think we need to go for one of these. And we have some of this. And let's make it a pear. Pretty cool. We have some bread with a lot of toppings. And normally I'll stay away from the bread, but this is kind of curious. And I think I have to give this a try. And moving on. And before I move on, I need to show you that station once again from the top. And then you have, it's a wonderful pathway that gives you access to all the sushis. And I think we have some more here. And I believe these are made to order Vietnamese delicacies with the ban sao and the rice wraps. Can't wait to go for those, but maybe just a little bit later. And let's try some of the hot appetizers. And it's kind of nice to see all the hardworking folks at the back. Hi. That is a hot kitchen. And I think I'll start off with some of the appies here. So this is really curious. Again, I'm not sure what some of these things are, but that's kind of half the fun is to figure out what they are. And since we don't know what they are in case they're tasty, let's go for two. Ah, and these, I know what they are. Chicken wing and massive ones at that. A little bit of fried items. And I think this is either a fried salmon or a fried hot dog. Oh, and the plate is wonderfully filled with fried goodness. And how can you go wrong with a Vietnamese spring roll deep fried? These are absolutely the favorite. Pretty full plate, but there's more. We have the shrimp, and normally I'd absolutely go for the shrimp, 
but I see something even better, wonderful grill station. All right, and as chef is grilling it up, I'm gonna go for a little bit of oysters, but these ones are grilled. A little bit of grilled pork. And the nice thing is these and are the nice pork thing belly. Is these are pork belly, nice and fatty. And I don't know about you, but I am getting quite warm here already. I can't imagine how the good folks at the back do it. My goodness. So really great to see, and I'm getting pretty warm here, and I don't want this plate to go cold, so I better hurry up. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad I didn't spend too much time at the buffet grabbing all the food because we have this magnificent lobster here that just came and freshly made. And as much as I want to dig into that lobster now, I think the beer calls. And it's a little bit warm in here. So I think they gave me a little bit of ice to make it extra cold. And cheers to you. Mm. Nothing as refreshing as a nice glass of beer with a little bit of ice. Mm. And I don't think we can let the lobster wait. So I think Chef Hung prepared this. This is a cheesy baked lobster. I'm going to give this a try. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So succulent. Just comes off perfectly. Let's give that a cut. Look at that meat. Just cutting into it, you can tell it's soft and succulent and cooked really nicely. Oh, absolutely stunning. That lobster, I can already tell, is cooked to perfection and it was really tender, very sweet, and a savory, wonderful cheese sauce. Mm. Very nice. And I can't believe having lobster as the appetizer but I think we need to switch over to some of the other appetizers here. I've tried the gamcha before, but I think I'm going to try a little bit of the shrimp in a little bit of sauce. Mm. Oh, very nice. That texture, incredibly fresh. Texture is nice and bouncy and it's got that sweet, savory, oceany, briny flavor and that wonderful sauce, a little bit of mint, really nice. Mm. And I remember Jeff was so expertly making these sushi with pear. I just got to give it a try. A little bit of soy sauce and wasabi. Mm. <laughs> Strong wasabi, but very fresh and delicate. I believe this is sea bass, topped with a bit of mayonnaise, dabbled with a bit of soy sauce. Mm. Very nice. And I do want to stay away from the bread, but I think I got to give this a try. Mm. Beautiful, pristine, crusty and crunchy. And I think it's got a pate and some floss. Very savory and very nice. And a bit messy. But I think I gotta try one of those grilled oysters. And I remember Chef was cooking these spare ribs. They were kind enough to bring a few over. I'm gonna try that next, but let's give these oysters a try. They look absolutely magnificent. Oh, fantastic. The oyster is grilled so well, so many aromas, and the topping of the scallion and the shallots, really nice and so aromatic. Mm. Just gotta try that spring roll. They are my favorite. We'll use our hands in a bit of sauce. Oh, so good. Crispy on the outside, and that filling is overflowing on the inside. The pork and the vermicelli. Very good. So I think I'm going to finish off the first round because there's so much more to come. 
I think they have a hot pot station and the authentic Vietnamese food. Can't wait to give all those a try, but first, a beer. Cheers. Much needed. That was a lot of food. Oysters, nice and fresh. And remember those little round things that I don't know what they were? Well, I still don't know what they were and they were pretty good. And the sea bass in the perilla leaf, absolutely stunning. A little bit of soy sauce, wonderful flavors, so delicate. And of course, I had to give those grilled pork ribs a try. So tender, a little bit of charred flavor, but just melts in the mouth. Prepared so well and it shows with all the hardworking chefs at the back. And now with appetizers over, I think we need to try some traditional Vietnamese fare and some other great foods. I can't wait to discover what they have. Come on, let's discover together. Cheers. My goodness, it's certainly getting so busy in here. But let's see. Oh, let's go for some Vietnamese food. Hi, can I, can I try some ban xiao? A little bit of veggies, some bean sprouts, shrimp, and some scallions. Oh. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. Fresh ban sao. So normally I would go for more food, but I don't think the ban sao can wait and I need to try this fresh and hot. Let's give this a try here. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice and crispy. Flaky edges. I think what I'll do is I'll take some lettuce and we'll just wrap this up. Uh, a little bit of herbs, cilantro. All right. This is so hot. A little bit of the sauce. Cheers. Mm. Nice and hot and crispy and messy at the same time. A little bit of seafood, a little bit of bean sprouts for some freshness. And those edges are absolutely to die for. Shatteringly crisp. Cheers. Mm. So, sorry for the detour, but I got to finish this off and then I'll take you back to the or some more food, I can't even speak. I think we need a beer. <laughs> All right, cheers. Although that might be making it more difficult to speak, but very nice. So a little bit of a detour and uh, I think we're right back at it. And here we go. Oh, that was very good, thank you. All right, so this looks pretty interesting. Van Duk, and if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, my apologies but I think this is some type of traditional cake right here. So I think this is a rice cake. Oh, nice and gooey and sticky. Got to fish it around there right next to the other cakes. This is the fresh rice roll wrapper. Looks absolutely amazing. Oh, and some dim sum but it's too hot for some steamy hot dim sum. But there are some new rolls here, thin rice paper. I think there's something crispy inside. Let's give that a try. Oh, and this is my favorite coming up. This is what I have for breakfast every day. So this is ban chun, as I was told. So let's go for a little bit or a lot right over here. And we'll do the pasta twirl. And uh, let's see, oh, we have some steamed items. Oh, ooh, some sticky rice. And I bet you this is sticky rice plain. And yes, I was right. But you know, it's too warm for that. But let's go see what else they have. Okay, and it can't be a buffet without an array of cloches. Let's see what they have. Oh, all right. So starting off, we have some fried rice. Oh, and as good as the rice is, this has fast becoming my favorite. This is, I think this is fried um, instant noodle, uh, but it is so good and wonderfully greasy. And we have a little bit of pasta, but I think we'll skip that and let's see what's in here. 
Oh, beautiful clams. And I think these are thicky clams. And let's see what else they have. Oh, okay. So this is absolutely gorgeous. They have some veggies, but this is what I'm after. That is a beef brisket or a beef stew. No, it's a beef stew. And already I can tell it is wonderfully tender and a big helping of that right over here. And moving on. Oh my goodness. We have a seafood medley and this is absolutely the favorite. These are razor clams and uh, I remember in Vancouver, they, they're not cheap and uh, this is so plentiful here. Let's see, we'll get a shell with a clam and some more. And moving on, we have some baby octopi and some more snails. I think this is in a lemongrass sauce and this is seafood congee. And normally I would absolutely love a bowl of congee, but just not today. <laughs> it's too warm. And this is just a modest plate because we have more food. So round two is looking pretty good and very traditional. And there's so much more to try. But I think I'm going to start with the traditional items first. And this is the banchan. And if again, if I said it wrong, my apologies. But a little bit of sauce. And this is what I have for breakfast every day. Let's give this a try. Mm. Not bad. Can't wait to see what that traditional cake is like. Let's see, let's cut into it. Cuts in pretty easily. Mm. That's interesting texture. There's not too much flavor to it. And I'm not sure if it's sweet or savory, but uh, I think we're supposed to dip this in something else. And if you know, please let me know. Cheers. But that spring roll is looking absolutely phenomenal. Oh, very nice. This is like a tempura roll Vietnamese style. Something crispy and crunchy and seafoody on the inside. And a nice refreshing herb and uh, a rice wrap on the outside. Just needs a bit of sauce. Mm. Very nice. And I gotta try that cake. So this is wrapped in banana leaf. And I'm sad to say I waited a little too long. I think I'm supposed to put some toppings in here. But without that, I'm just going to give it a try. Mm. All right. So this is just a substrate for something. And I think maybe it might be a good substrate for the pork. Let me just grab that. And if I'm doing this wrong, please correct because I love to practice. Cheers. Definitely a lot better with a little bit of pork, but I still don't think this is right. And I can't wait to dig into my favorite. These are the uh, fried instant noodles with a bit of pork or beef. My apologies, the beer is getting to me, if not the heat. Oh. Absolutely amazing. And all is right with the world with this luscious beef and it literally just melts in your mouth. So good, and a little bit of greasy noodles. Cheers to you. Mm. Oh, and I see something coming. Thank you so much. So we have more food, and I think this is a hot pot. Let's take a look. Wonderful broth, but it's empty at the moment, and we have to remedy that. Come on, let's remedy that together to the hot pot station. So a quick detour. This is where the hot this pot, is items, where the hot are located, pot items are But we're kept. not going to go fishing for our own ingredients. I think they have it all laid all out, laid over, out here, over here as far as the eye can see. And starting off, oh. we have some noodles. And I think this might be good with the hot pot near the end to soak up all that flavor. And moving on, we have this array of seafood, fresh. Oh, Chef Hung, thank you so much. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good for hell. I know, I know it's good for health. Yeah, we have this in uh, Canada. Very expensive. Let's grab a few of these. And we have some squid. I remember on the boat, we were trying to catch our own squid. It was a testament to patience. And now they have all the squid here already caught and prepared. All right, and next we have some really live stuff here. We have the crabs and these are the mantis shrimp and then some more shrimp. And as much as I would love to try 
the fresh seafood, I'm actually a little bit of a chicken and uh, a little bit afraid to get these live crustaceans. But Gene is here to help. Oh, oh my good. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Oh, thank you. Gene, thank you so much. So really kind of him. I think I'll get the plate from the other side. All right, so this is a bit of a lively plate here. We have a couple of mantis shrimp, the clams, and then the crabs. But first, I think we need to flavor the broth with a little bit of mushrooms, squid balls, and some clams, and a Korean fish cake. And we'll throw these in. And I guess we'll try the mantis shrimp and the crab. Oh boy. <laughs> We've got the mantis shrimp in there some razor clams, and some oysters. And I don't think they should cook too long. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a minute. The clam should be ready. And I think we'll fish them out. So we've got the manta shrimp, the razor clams, some fish cake. And let me see, I think this one, I might have overcooked this one. Let's find the oysters. It's kind of nice to search for your own food. So I can't wait to try the manta shrimp. Let's give this a try. I know these, again, it's a little bit hard to eat because they're fresh. They cut so easily. And you can see the difference when they're fresh. The meat is nice and springy. I'm just gonna have to use my hands. A little bit of lime, a little bit of salt, a little bit of this. Oh. Very nice. Because they're so fresh, this is not mealy at all. Really delicate flavor and the texture is extremely delicate. I can see how it goes mealy really quickly, but this is light and springy and it was hard to take it off the shell. So uh, I guess uh, we just have to eat it as is. Oh, very good. I gotta try those razor clams. So if you haven't had razor clams, and if you're in North America, I can find these in my Asian grocery store really good. And a little bit of sauce. Mm. All right, and as we enjoy the oyster, let's go for the crab. All right, sorry fellas. All right, well, let's go for the oysters. Here we go. A little bit of this, a little bit tang, a little bit sweet. Mm. Very nice. But that doesn't go well with the oysters. I think we need a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of minty tanginess from this. Mm. Oh, much better. And I think the crabs are ready. All right. Man, a hot pot on a hot humid day is <laughs> something else. But let's unwrap the crab. And we really do need to unwrap it because they are tied up. Cut this up. And I believe we'll just give it a cut. And these are steaming hot. I think this is again, the crab fat, really nice. A little bit of sauce. Mm. Very nice, very meaty and fresh. Mm. And messy. So, little bit of shell. So I think I'm gonna finish this up with the wonderful food, the traditional Vietnamese food, the hot pot, and we'll take it back for dessert. But first we need some beer. It is hot. Mm. So let's see what they have for dessert. I think they've got a couple of fruits here and I'm still trying to figure out what this is. I wonder if it's something called soursop, but again, would appreciate any uh, any information you have, that'd be helpful. And then we have a little bit of chia seeds, some red bean, and I think that's for a nice icy dessert. I think I'm gonna give that a try. A little bit of ice, which is absolutely needed, and a little bit of red bean right here. And you know what it needs? Ice cream, come on. And as we wait for the ice cream, we see the hardworking folks stalking up the dessert station or the fruit station with that unknown type of fruit. And as I was here earlier, they had a whole refrigerated section with desserts. But now as the night ends, because I was going for dish after dish and course after course, I think it is out, but so am I. And all I need is a little bit of ice cream 
and that would top off the meal. And here it is. So let's see what we have. A little bit of fogginess and we'll go for a scoop. And this is the most yellow vanilla ice cream I've seen. How about right over here? And there is one down here that looks a little bit more white. So a little bit of work uh, and a little bit of dessert and that's all I need. So just a little bit of dessert and again, that's all I need. Let's dig in. So I think in the Asian desserts, uh, it's always nice to have something icy and uh, green bean or red bean taste is always a staple. Let's give this a try. I think the white is vanilla. Not sure what the other ice cream is. Mm. And cold, but cold in the most wonderful way. Again, this is a hot, humid day. But the ice cream is nice and creamy. The ice is keeping it extra cold and a little bit of red bean. A little bit of texture, very nice. Mm. That's definitely vanilla. Let's try the yellow. Since in Vietnam with all the mangoes, I bet you this is mango. Oh. It isn't mango. I think it's durian. I know it's durian. That is the other popular fruit here in Vietnam. And I think I'll give that a pass. And I think we need to wash this off with a little bit more of the vanilla. Mm. Creamy vanilla with essence of durian. <laughs> Very interesting. So this is Halong Bay and I am uh, right along the beach here at this wonderful place called I Seafood. Uh, and I'm not sure what it is in Vietnamese, but I'll hopefully post the uh, name of the restaurant in the uh, video description below or in one of those captions. So again, really nice to explore uh, Halong Bay and kind of get out of the hustle and bustle of Hanoi. Okay, really beautiful restaurant, fantastic decor and hardworking staff and really friendly folks here, like uh, from Chef Hung to Gim, the live crab. Thank you so much for that. And also, thank you so much uh, for joining me and keeping me company. Absolute pleasure. And I think to end the meal, we need some beer. And I think this is beer number three because it is really hot in here. So again, thank you so much. And until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're traveling well. Uh, take care of each other and God bless. Cheers. Very nice. So the meal isn't over because Hui was kind enough to give me, I think she saw me with the the face uh, that I was making with the durian. And she was kind enough to give me a traditional Vietnamese dessert. This is a sticky rice dessert. Not sure if you can see that. Oh, so this is quite nice. I think a little bit of sticky rice and at the bottom, oh, something custard and creamy. Let's give this a try. Mmm, mmm. That is surprisingly good and nice and cold with a little bit of yogurt and the sticky rice is perfectly sweet and incredibly floral much exceeded my expectations this is absolutely a favorite dessert oh so good a little bit of sweetness a little bit of tang from the yogurt so again fantastic folks here and this time <laughs> I wish you all the best. And again, I hope you're keeping well and traveling well. God bless to you and yours. Bye-bye. <laughs>